Hey guys, yesterday I made a video about a topic that some people in the watch community want to cancel Vostok because of the war in the Ukraine and I said that I don't think it's a good idea because Vostok as a watch manufacturing company is not responsible for the war and there were some comments and some some um, arguments back and forth and I have decided to remove this video because yeah there is a war going on and the Ukraine is being destroyed and people are dying on both sides and arguing about it just doesn't help anybody and I completely understand why people have uh, negative feelings about Vostok especially people who are personally affected some some people wrote that that yeah Vostok watches are used by the Russian military and there are watches displaying tanks and other military uh, stuff and yeah I completely understand that but it's not Vostok who started the war it's not Vostok watches killing people so you know in that sense Vostok is not responsible but I completely understand the negative feelings and I think it's very unfortunate because I like my Vostok but I have to admit I wouldn't want to wear a Vostok displaying a tank for example or I used to own the the Heineken commander ski with the you know the green commander ski with the red star and the parachute right now I wouldn't want to wear that I have sold it since but you know what I mean and I also said that yeah, if you want to cancel Vostok because of the war, then we should cancel Seiko because it comes from Japan and because of the Second World War. And somebody wrote, yeah, but the Second World War is over. But that's not the point. You know, even the USA has been fighting wars ever since the Second World War, uh, directly or indirectly, but they have been fighting wars. Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq and whatnot. So should we cancel everything coming from the USA? Should we cancel stuff com coming from, from China and a lot of other countries? And also should we cancel Casio because Casio watches were used by terrorists to time the explosion uh, for their bombs. So yeah, I know it's different from a war, but, but it, <laughs> I, uh, I hope you catch my drift, so I completely understand the negative feelings about Vostok, but I still believe that that it, it's not companies like Vostok who are responsible for, for wars. And for that matter, it's not everyday ordinary people who want to go to war. It's, it's world leaders, it's superpowers who want wars because they profit from them you know everyday ordinary ordinary people they want to live they want to be with their families they 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 want to be left alone mind their own business and then they want to enjoy life i mean i am for sure not like oh f my life and my family let's go to a foreign country and kill strangers until i get killed I, I just can't believe that ordinary everyday people and masses of ordinary everyday people think like that. I, I can't believe it. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I am from Hungary and we also had our brush with the Russians in 1956 uh, when we had a attempted revolution. Russian tanks came into into Budapest, the capital city, and they they just killed the attempt, and nobody helped us. The world didn't do anything. So yeah, we also have some history with the Russians. And yeah, again, I am against war. It's it's a terrible thing that people are dying and and the country is being destroyed and I think the war in the Ukraine is is, uh, is different for us in the Western world because it, it hits home, it, it, it hits really close to home. It hits 
very close to Europe and the Western world. So I think that's why this war for us is much more a much more of a sensitive topic than, for example, the war that was going on in Iraq or or uh, Vietnam or Afghanistan or whatever else, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.